Hello everybody, this is Ryan from Justifier Just Do It Coaching and I posted something on Facebook earlier today, um, something I read, I liked it and I want to share it with you because I got a lot of likes and actually a lot of comments on it. So here it goes and it says, do not be impatient with your seemingly slow progress. Do not try to run faster than you presently can. If you are studying, reflecting, and trying, you are making progress, whether you are aware of that or not. A traveler walking the road in darkness of the night is still going forward. Someday, some way, everything will break open, like a natural unfolding of a rosebud. And it's by, it's weird because I'm not, I, I have someone on my Facebook. It's by Vernon Howard Smart, but I know a Howard Smart, so I, I don't know if uh, somehow that got caught up together. And on my coaching calls yesterday, this actually came up for one of my new clients in the sense that he, he kept asking a lot of analytical questions at, in regards to the process. And I broke it down for him like this. If you say what you're going to do, if you do what you say that you're going to do, great. If you don't do what you say that you're going to do, great. And that sounds crazy, right? Because that's where the coaching comes in. We all have goals. We all have aspirations. We all have things that we want to do. And we have a hard time formulating a plan, number one, and two, executing that plan. And sometimes we execute that plan to the best of our knowledge at the time. And that's why I coach. And that's why he has hired me. And it doesn't really matter how you go about doing what you're doing as long as you are doing. And as long as you're doing to the best of your ability that day. And if something holds you back or stops you, it's my job to figure out what that is and propel you forward, not to punish you, not to make you upset, not to make you feel less than what you are. It's to correct and continue. You know, perfect example, I have another guy I'm working with, and he put something on his list, and I know his goals. They're very clear and very defined. We put that together in the first couple of weeks of us talking together. And he has his daily sheets that tell me exactly what he's doing towards those goals on a daily basis. And I get those on a daily basis. And on the very last sheet of our, right before our last coaching call, there was one item on there that just didn't know anything about. Didn't see how it related to the other goals that we had set. So I asked him about it. And at the end of the day, it wasn't in line with his goals. So we scrapped it. And it took a while for him to have the shift in the mindset that it was that it wasn't okay for him to go and do that particular item because it wasn't in line with his goals. Uh, and it took some reframing and it took a, a good portion, actually all of our portion into an extended period for me to uh, shift that for him because it just wasn't sinking in for him that it wasn't all right and he thanked me at the end because i want him moving towards the goals he's already set it's not all right for him to detour over to the left and to the right that's what we all do when we're not achieving the goals and he summed it up with saying at some point and we came around full circle so what you're telling me is everything that i do needs to pertain to my goals and he gave other examples, and, and, and in a nutshell, yes. If you want to attain your goals, they're your goals. They're not my goals as a coach. They're your goals. And if you want to succeed in attaining those goals, because essentially the question was at the beginning, what would you have to do to make your life amazing in the next year? And if you say this, 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 and this, and you start varying from it, it's my job to put you back on the road of a direct 
or as direct line to your goals as possible. And that quote at the beginning that I talked about, as long as you're moving forward and you haven't quit, which means you haven't failed, you haven't failed yourself, you haven't failed the process, you are trying to attain your goals, it's all we could ask. It's all we could ask as coaches. Now, as a coach, I may push you a little harder because I know you can do more than you think that you can do. But at the end of the day, as long as you're propelling forward and doing what you say that you're going to do with with your actions, your statements, your body language, and all of you, if you're moving forward, eventually your goals will blossom like a rosebud. This is Ryan from Justifier Just Do It Coaching. Everybody have an amazing day.